Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor. And let's begin with another problem in this video series, rather a reloaded version of this video series on projection of points. Here we go. Well, it goes like this, two points A and B are in the HP. So these two points are lying in the HP. That means their distances from the horizontal plane has got to be zero. So let me just write zero over here and over here also. Okay. The point A is 30 mm in front of the VP. All right, so it's 30 mm in front of the VP. Now there are two options, multiple option case. Um, let, let me make a vertical plane, let me make a horizontal plane. Okay, so as far as point A is concerned, this is 30 mm in front of the VP. It's something like this. This distance is how much? This is 30 millimeters. So point A, um, apart from being in the HP, is also 30 millimeters in front of the VP. That means this value D has got to be 30. Now this is quadrant 1. That's quadrant 2, let me write this, 3, and that's precisely 4. Now, some of you guys may say that, sir, point A is situated in first quadrant. Some of you guys uh, may have a perspective that this point A is lying in the fourth quadrant. Well, I'm of the opinion that both the options are absolutely correct. Well, this point can be assumed to be in the first quadrant. It can also be assumed to be in the fourth quadrant. doesn't matter which HD principle you follow, you're going to end up making the same projection. So that's it. Now let's talk about this point B. We have been written that it is behind the VP. How far behind the VP? Well, that is something that has not been given to us. Okay. So let me make a question mark. How far behind the VP is not given to us. Now if it is behind the VP, then again, behind the vertical plane, we've got two options. Either it could be in the second quadrant or in the third quadrant. Well, both the options are correct. Second and third again i would reiterate doesn't matter which hd principle you follow whether you follow this okay h and d above x y line whether you follow this d above and h below that is for this third quadrant both of them are going to land you in the same same sort of projection diagram the front view and top view projection diagram okay so so that was all no 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 no, no. that's not all we've got some other data left so the distance between their projectors is 75 mm. So let me make this. We are assuming this distance is not known to us. Okay, this distance I'm talking about. This is unknown to us. And this is something that we actually need to work out. Let me make a question mark over here. How far behind uh, the vertical plane this point B is situated? Well, this is something that we need to work out. Okay. And the distance between their projectors is 75 millimeters. It's, it's something of this sort. Let me try to make this. This over here, this distance is 75. Okay, distance between the projector of A and uh, the projector of B. That's it. Now, when you try to join this line joining their top views, if you watch carefully guys this is for the front okay so the front view of a will be right here simply a dash the front view of b will be right here and it's it's gonna be b dash when you take a look at this from the top we're going to have the corresponding top view so the top view will be right here only okay that's that's gonna be a simply a and the top view of point v will be right here now what this what this statement essentially is trying to say is the line joining their top views that is when a is joined with b this it makes a certain angle with the xy line and this over here intersection of hp and vp is the xy line right the angle made over here is how much that is 45 degrees and this is something that we are going to take into account when we draw the projection of these two points so that's all. Now let's begin by making the corresponding orthographic projection. Here we go. Now this is uh, second as well as third quadrant. Let me let me make this second as well as third quadrant. Okay, this is unknown to us and this is something that we need to work out from the drawing itself. Here we go. Let's have the XY line done. Um, point A. So if you follow this HD principle of quadrant one, you have H above and D below. Okay, so how much above? Zero above. 0 above that means with the h you need to put a dash point a dash is going to be right here that's it d below how much below 30 below okay without a dash and that's going to be point a simply 
30 millimeters down below the xy line now what well the next step is going to be pretty important from distance between the projectors as far as the question was concerned distance between the projector of a and b was given to us as how much um, it was 75 if i'm not wrong let me go ahead and check that 75 right that was 75 okay so from this point we need to again make a point over here at a distance of 75 millimeters something of this sort and now since this point b is lying in the second quadrant we are assuming that it is lying in the second quadrant that means if this is the xy line h will be above and d will be above that means both front and top views are going to lie above the x y line so it's going to be something of this sort okay since it is the value of h is zero so therefore point p dash will be here okay with an h you need to put a dash that's it and then you need to travel upwards okay any random length we don't know how much length that is going to be because this is unknown to us and this is something which we need to work out but the one thing that we do know is when you join the top views when you join the top views top views when you join the top views the line makes a certain angle makes how much it makes an angle of 45 degrees with the xy line yes that's true so what you need to do is you need to keep a protractor over here okay and then then something of this sort needs to happen at an angle of 45 degrees you need to make a line wherever this line intersects this this randomly drawn vertical line that point shall give you the precise location of the top view of point p okay and if you were to calculate this this distance it can be worked out from over here and that is going to work out as 45 millimeters let me tell you okay so this is the final answer so the distance of point b behind the vertical plane behind the vertical plane is nothing but 45 millimeters so guys that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has enhanced your knowledge of engineering graphics engineering drawing then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification you get an update Anyways, I'm going to be back with more such videos on drawing. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care. Have a great day. Keep drawing. Thank you.